Sunday 9th of July 2017 5 to 6 p.m. and Shibby says hi this week was a particularly difficult week work-wise it was the hardest teaching job I've had in a long time Because the children, the children, oh my lord, the children. I I don't believe that anyone is inherently bad. They were just very difficult. Some of them were very difficult. I mean, all of them are lovely deep down. But oh, oh my lord. I actually... I actually, like, I didn't dance that much because I was too busy trying to get them to dance. And then there came a point where I wasn't dancing that much at all because they already knew the routine and I was just kind of herding them around the studio <laughs> trying to get them to do stuff. And yet the sweat that I experienced was nothing. Like, I, I, I was like, why do I smell all the time this week? And I'm not even moving that much. And it was stress sweat. I f I've decided there's a thing called stress sweat because any time I, uh, my anxiety was getting uh, and they were driving me around the bend, I'd start, like, I'm actually thinking about it, sweating right now. <sighs> yes, and it smells bad. Stress sweat smells bad. I'm going to get that on a t-shirt or something. Cortisol infused stress <laughs> smells rank. So that's what I did with my week. But it was absolutely wonderful teaching in um in the back in my old in an old studio again. So it was really great. It was just very tough. It was really challenging. But it kind of taught me I was super grateful for my meditation practice. Um because uh, you know, this week made me realise how grateful I am and how grateful I I am towards my freedom of choice because I could choose to freak out and I didn't choose to freak out. I chose to meditate every lunchtime and find a quiet place. <laughs> um, and I managed. And not only did I manage, I then like got myself, I ended up getting a, a full body massage on the set, uh, like at the afterwards and facial and stuff like that, which I would never do for myself. So lovely things came out of the week. It was just super difficult. But then I remember watching them because they did their final performance on the Friday. And I remember watching them going, full of love and pride and watching them going no matter how m annoying you are you deserve to feel the joy that you are feeling right now <laughs> so no matter how tough anyone is in life everyone deserves to feel the joy that dance can bring or anything can bring everyone deserves to feel joy ah <sighs> that was super challenging Blah. Um, I had wonderful friend times and I had wonderful family times this week and uh, finally my last piece of news is I got accepted to compete in a k-pop dance cover competition in Dublin uh, run by the Korean embassy in Ireland and the first prize is you get to go to Korea to compete so I am going to compete and try my hardest and work my hardest and see what happens and I'm so excited I'm so excited even if I don't win I oh, I I'm gonna I'm gonna have so much fun preparing for it so my little bit of news so watch this space you're gonna hear lots about my k-popness of course I'm doing like a ton of bts dances that's fun. and I have to learn how to lip sync korean <laughs> that's what I'll be doing for the next three weeks so yeah um Remember, you are who you choose to be. And today I choose to see more friends and take more care of myself. So Sunday, the 9th of July, 2017. Shibi says bye.